the country have been scrambling to come up with security measures to keep their students safe. We've heard plans for police officers to bring guns into schools, even teachers to carry firearms. But now a Missouri lawmaker is hoping to arm teachers with non-lethal pepper spray. The bill allows elementary and secondary school teachers and administrators to act as protection officers. They can carry pepper spray and use it to the extent necessary to protect. It requires these protection officers to go through a training and safety program. The bill is sponsored by Missouri State Senator Jason Holzman. Joining us now is Tracy Hawkins. She's a safety and security expert. We've had her on many times before. Tracy, good to see you. Good to see you. Let's talk about the pepper spray, personal safety. What do you think about this idea? Okay, first of all, people need to realize pepper spray is a natural product. Cayenne pepper, same thing you have in your kitchen. If someone is sprayed with pepper spray, it's going to cause the eyes to close and the mucous membranes to swell. So they're coughing, they're gasping for air, they're rubbing their eyes, and the effects last 30 to 40 minutes after that. There are no long-term long effects. So it is a temporary way for a person to get out of a dangerous situation. It, does it affect children any differently than it does um, adults? Same thing. If the kid is in the area, then they will cough and their eyes will burn in water. Um, what you do is just scratch your face with cold water, get fresh air, no long-term effects. Well, what, is, what are you, your thoughts on a teacher perhaps having pepper spray and there's an altercation at school? How would they know exactly when to use it and when not to? First and foremost, we need to keep in mind, my mom is a teacher. Oh, okay. And she, right. um, she has had situations where she had needed something in order to defend herself. So we need to keep in mind, first and foremost, that teachers are intelligent. They would need to be trained to use pepper spray. Again, it is non-lethal, so there will not be any long-term lasting damage. Teachers will know to keep it away from students. And I think the, the key factor is if they at least have a chance to defend students. In the Sandy Hook situation, teachers put themselves between bullets and students. Yes, so if yes. teachers like Jason Holtman and my mom, if they're saying, give us something that we can at least try to defend students with that doesn't cause lasting damage, who are we to not listen to them? Right. Is there any reason why teachers would not want to use it? Um, mm -hmm. Some people are concerned about children getting a hold of the pepper spray. To that, I say keep it put away, keep it locked up. And then you have to weigh the, the two situations. One is if your child is accidentally sprayed while the teacher is defending them, your kid will have itchy eyes and they will cough. Consider the alternative. Yes. And as you said, it is temporary and it is natural. It's a natural product that gives you a fighting chance, an opportunity to defend yourself. And teachers have shown that they're willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Who are we to tell them that we will not give you this non-lethal item that can help you not only save yourself, but to help save our children? Sure. And we will continue to follow this and see how it goes in the legislature. Tracy, as always, thank you. Your website real quickly. Safety and Security Source and Pepper Spray is busy, busy, busy at this time of the year. So definitely do your homework. Make sure you're getting the right product. All right. Thank you so much. We'll okay, see thanks. you again soon. Ladies,